134 million people are pre-diabetic which means that they are waiting to become diabetic. We are not here to control sugars or manage diabetes, help to people to reduce weight or control BP or control any of this condition. Our focus is to go solve the root cause of the problem is the disrupted metabolism. Every other family, at least one member is affected with diabetes. 30, 35 diabetes. No, 17 people get diabetes. Really? Yes. Schools should ban selling of junk food in their canteen. In the age group of 24 to 34 are suffering with PCOS. When I was completing my PhD, I had a bad episode in my life where my son had a liver failure. Hello everyone and welcome to Twin Health's YouTube channel. Welcome to a fresh series of podcasts where we begin healthy listening for a better living. Today, our guest is a very special one, the co-founder of Twin Health, Dr. Maluk Mohammed, an insightful person who has an ocean of knowledge and is going to help us decode the topics such as diabetes, metabolic health and everything that's going to help you prevent chronic diseases. Is diabetes reversible? A lot more statistics that we will learn in today's episode, a very insightful one. Trust me when I say that you have a basket of healthy information awaiting for you in this podcast. So what are you waiting for? Tune in and enjoy listening. Let me welcome a doctor who's going to be providing us insights that you and I would have probably never known. Let's learn and relearn from him, none other than Dr. Maluk, sir. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you here uh, and actually very interested to learn so much about what I would see as diabetes. To be very honest, I see every other family that we have today, at least one member is affected with diabetes. And in the recent trend, I've also seen it is not just grandparents, grandfather, grandmother affected with diabetes. Even very young people with the age of 30s now have diabetes. So, sir, A, I'd like to understand that what is the reason of this rising factor? Why is it that there is a sudden surge in diabetes out of nowhere? B, is it something to do with our lifestyle? Your thoughts on it? So, a couple of corrections. I'm not a medical doctor for your clarification. Okay. I'm a doctorate from IIT Madras. Okay. And uh, started to work on uh, the healthcare for the past five and a half years since we started this uh, company, which we are doing our life's work. And uh, in this journey, being an engineer, when I been, we started to deep dive on the healthcare, it is scary, in fact. It's literally scary to look at what the hell is happening in the community. And uh, to quote a simple example, four years back, 77 million Indians were affected with diabetes. Really? And in just four years from now on, it is 101 million. 40 percentage rise in the diabetic community. And uh, 134 million people are pre-diabetic, which means that they are waiting to become diabetic. Ridiculously bad. And uh, the root cause of it is, of course, ultimately, it is because of the lifestyle. And uh, since the advancement in the food technology, food revolution, uh, things had become really, really, really bad. But the saddest truth is, we are all wired in such a way that, hey, you become 40, you'll become diabetic. Mm. And accept it. It's as if that it's, uh, you'll have a knee pain, mm. you'll have a high sugar, start to accept it. That's a way of living. But the, the truth is, God's creation is so beautiful that this body can live without any ailment. For hundreds of years. It's up to us to how to handle it. Right? You believe even in today's world it, it is possible? It's really, really possible. And we had proved it. We had proved it, right? Uh, that's what makes a difference. So, to summarize your question, the truth is, it is a lifestyle disease. And uh, di diabetes by itself is not a disease, to clarify. It is a condition. It's a symptom. The actual root cause of someone having high sugar in the blood is disrupted metabolism. Disrupted metabolism. Oh. That is the root cause of the problem. And the saddest truth is when I mean about metabolism, people will not understand. Many people will know the word metabolism, metabolic rate, but they will not know what is the actual meaning of it, right? Metabolism is thousand plus biochemical reaction that takes place in a human body at every instance of time. Just imagine, in our body, at this instance of time, thousand plus biochemical reactions are taking place. And God's creation is so beautiful that no two human has the same metabolism. Forget about no two human has the same metabolism. We ourselves don't have the same metabolism throughout our life. 
what we had 10 minutes back is not what we have now it is so complex and dynamic it because of its complex and dynamic nature we did not have a way to precisely measure it hmm so ultimately doctors are treating the symptom and not the disease high sugar in the blood is a symptom it's a condition so starting from metformin to insulin there are 11 molecules and all these molecules work works to remove the sugar from the blood and not to treat this disease mm-hmm. so what happens when you treat the symptom disease persists for ever mm-hmm. symptom pretends as if that it has gone that is the reason why these diseases are said to be a lifelong progressive disease mm-hmm. with lifelong suffering of symptom no one knows when the complication is going to strike them badly okay it's a ridiculously bad a big awareness i'll tell you we were all panicking about covid in a big way pandemic in a big way yeah. but the truth is the way the world is moving especially india which is said to be the second capital of diabetes mm-hmm. is literally ruining the community there are millions of people who go to the level of poverty because of the complications filled with diabetes and other conditions right it is it is high time we fix up government needs to raise up because trillions of dollars are wasted on this condition horribly bad it's horribly horribly bad you yeah, agreed and especially when you're telling me the number the statistics that 40% is huge it's huge it's, it's almost next to i can see it going to the number one factor of becoming the most common problem or the most common ailment that we can see a human body might have uh so a lot to understand here a lot of doubts and discussions that i want to have but first i want to understand this term metabolic health so metabolic health i think it's a wide name what all does it cover say uh the saddest truth you need to understand is uh once someone gets into diabetes assume that we'll start with diabetes right eventually they'll get minimum two more conditions free of cost really yes right say a diabetic patient will be obese 70 plus percent of the population of diabetes will be obese they have fatty liver agree yeah. eventually the medication associated with all these conditions will lead to right. high cholesterol dyslipidemia and i right and the research says that medication for cholesterol are bad for diabetes mm. they will start to have hypertension mm. ultimately all these chronic conditions are interrelated and the basic root cause of everything is underlying root causes disrupted metabolism and eventually when people get into these conditions they end up at with the complications like stroke heart attack cancer all these are this is the start this is where things start right so the fundamental in a human body is metabolism hmm i'll tell you another scary statistics which is going to be really 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 botheration for the community 60 percentage of indian women mm-hmm. in the age group of 24 to 34 are suffering with pcos 60 percent 60 percentage of women in the age group of 24 to 34 are suffering with pcos eventually leading to infertility yeah. a calamity yes a calamity in the community in a big way right and uh, people get into when they are disrupted in metabolism starting from the taste of the tongue to sex of an individual goes off the end to end fundamental need of a human gets pissed off right it's not that i'm trying to make someone scared about it i'm trying to create an awareness about it because the, the truth is people are not realizing how horrible is this disease how horrible are all these conditions about right. right people take it lightly another data i'll tell you which is really really horribly bad is people who suffer with any of this chronic condition mm-hmm. their productivity loss is 47 percentage oh we all say that we are born to do so much we are busy we are running around the world and the productivity loss is 47 percentage that also connects wires to a lot of things that why we are not able to concentrate on work or uh, why there's a lot of uh, scrolling that happens no, on social media i could media. keep i could keep tell, talking about now yeah next this is connected to mental health exactly 70% of okay. diabetic population 70% of diabetic population are affected with mental health yes right yes. so i could keep talking about it because there are so much study which has come through so many things are there talking about this people are researchers are really working so hard to understand about this disease 
lot of molecules are coming in lot of things are trying it out but still every year on year things is going bad and bad and bad and bad the only solution is this has to be fixed how can we get solid stop to it okay. what is the right way to it is what we need to look for okay okay so one take away from this is going to be that having a good metabolic health is going to help us prevent a lot of chronic diseases hey today you take or forget about other houses let me take my own house i have three sons right and uh, most of the time what do they snack the so called junk, junk food. food yes the pizzas the burgers that the, the way uh, things had become so easier with the app right instantaneously correct uh, and the and the kind of lifestyle they live they don't sleep on time correct most of the time their mobile phones yes and suddenly they think of eating a pizza at 11 11 pm in the night they order yes are you talking about 11 pm i went to 4 am biryani it's and say hey, you buy it that's the reason they are open exactly they are looking at it as a business here yeah. i'll not blame them yeah. we have to be blamed yeah and we take it light right we think that let's handle it when it um, comes right but the quality of life is going to be horribly bad. the purpose of what why we are is going to be very very ruined mm. right and uh, that's scary um, that's really scary okay uh, so you mentioned that no two individuals will have the same metabolic health or even us every 10 minutes our pattern keeps wait, changing wait, wait, wait 10 minutes what i have got an example of 10 minutes what i have just before now because the thousand plus biochemical reaction is because say i'm talking to you now yeah so i am earning more energy now hmm. right there are a lot of biochemical reaction which changes right keep, everything is interconnected right it's continuously it keeps changing which means that i'm thinking of it from the health care providers perspective from a doctor's perspective how is it that you would diagnose what a person is going through or you would suggest them the treatment that this is going to be right for you because um if at all there are certain symptoms let's say seeing common patterns in individual diagnosis can happen but when something is so different in a human body from person to person or even us from time to time how does the diagnosis take place or how difficult is it from your purview so I'll, i'll narrate this uh, stuff right uh typically this is how things go mm-hmm. uh we eat right every human whom over eat sugar rises when sugar rises uh, there is a signal which goes to the beta cells in the pancreas which secretes insulin insulin is like a key to open the doors of the cells human is made up of trillions of cells and just assume these cells as a house and they have a door to open the door it's insulin which has to open the door so you eat sugar rice and when sugar rises there's a signal which goes to the beta cells which secretes insulin and insulin is a key to open the doors of the cells yeah. so doors opens sugars gets absorbed by the cells right leaving the sugars in the blood optimal now the sugars have got absorbed in the cells absorbed cells gets converted to energy by the body for the body to function the mitochondria the power station which is there in the cells convert this sugars into energy for the body to function yeah this is a basic of a yeah human body yeah. right everyone who studied biology in 10th standard will know this no right and what happens is typically we eat mm. sugar rises correct all of us are in the human body insulin secretes regular way dose doesn't open oh dose doesn't open the reason why dose doesn't open we'll talk about talk about it later or some other episode those are not opening insulin secreted but those are all out opening which means that cell has become resistant to insulin uh, you got my point it has become resistant to insulin which become which is called the so called insulin resistance now sure now those are not opening uh, leaving the uh, blood sugar high uh, because it's not absorbed by the cells right now when sugars are high in the blood the viscosity of blood becomes thicker correct and the viscosity of the blood becomes thicker the flow of blood in the system gets stressed out drained out right now let's pause here and now 
cells are not able to absorb sugars so cells are deprived of sugars right and here higher sugars is ridiculously bad because the body can sense the body is so beautifully systemed and it can understand that higher sugar in the blood is horribly bad so it has a capability to manage by itself to make the best of the possible so it has to somehow or the other push the sugars out the only way that it could push the sugars out is what urine you will start to frequently urinate then you'll start to frequently urinate the first symptom of diabetes okay you asked what are things right you will start to frequently urinate right and once you frequently urinate what happens you get dehydrated when you get dehydrated thirst you will you will tend to you will start to feel thirsty you will start to drink more water second symptom of diabetes and no the cells are not able to absorb sugars sugars the cell starts to crave for sugars craving Hmm. Right. Typically, you see, you see a diabetic patient. You will see the person who was normal, and all of a sudden, he'll start to crave for sugar. So he'll buy chocolates and he'll eat like a kid. He'll buy uh, uh, some drinks or something or other. Right. Cool. It is nothing but it is a symptom of diabetes. He craves. Okay. He craves for sugars. Right. Now cells are deprived of sugars, and he's craving. Now what happens? As it is. craving and it is as it is deprived of sugars he become fatigued and tired so frequent urination thirst craving fatigue and tiredness are the fundamentals of understanding a symptom of diabetes right and the next thing is the blood flow gets stressed and strained because the blood viscosity has increased so the farthest nerves from the heart which is pumping is the toes mm. is this is the farthest mm, correct you will saw the blood flow there starts to gets too stressed and you'll start to get numbness right your feet becomes numb you you will start to get tickling in your fingers right these are basic is also swelling an indicator swelling no. swelling no 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 swelling is that okay so these are the basic but these are generic okay. things to understand about it okay but again i'm telling you every body is unique every body the way it functions is unique right. and the other thing is someone because doesn't become diabetic in one day one week one month one it is long time the body is tries to struggles to accommodate adjust right so i told the the the, the, the cells is not open for the insulin hey hey but the truth is it did not stop at some point of time it has been a process mm. so six to typically the sugar rises So insulin secreted, those open, right? The entire process should happen in six to nine minutes of insulin. Okay. More than the sugar, I insulin the blood is ridiculously bad. Okay. So what happens is when sugars are high, in nine minutes it's not opening, so the beta cells will secrete more insulin. Then it will keep secreting more insulin at some point of time, right? So eventually someone started to become diabetic after he has been trying to work with the body for more than five years by itself. Then then. Three to five years, it starts to show up, and when it shows up with symptom, uh. you are done with substantial amount of damage. Understood. To me, mm. honest with what I am seeing for the past five and a half years, with a limited knowledge on uh, 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 these condition, what I will say is this: earlier we said after forty, do regular blood test, yearly annual checkup. Mm. Today I will tell you after twenty, go do blood regular checkup. Right? That's the sorry status. You said thirty, thirty five. Diabetes? No, seventeen people get diabetes. Really? Yes, seventeen. Seventeen. I have a kid who's fifteen years who's getting treated for diabetes. That's very scary, right? Look at people who say everyone become obese. More than fifty percent of the population are obese. Earlier, when the kid was fat and chubby, we were all happy to look at the kid and go pull the cheeks. But that kid sustained to be obese for life. And continue to be obese for life. Not it. It is really, really horribly. I'd I'd say, sir, not just like even twenties, but then uh, starting from the childhood itself, the parent needs to be very careful on what you are feeding, how much you are feeding the child, how much you are entertaining the cravings, because ultimately, in the given lifestyle, which we'll talk more about, 
it is going to lead to a disruptive metabolic health which will open the doors for all the chronic diseases that they probably don't want to face. Yeah, the ideal way I look at it to to bring in the changes like how we teach moral science in schools especially now I don't know where it is during my days there is there used to be a period called moral science where teachers used to teach us moral yes but that's the reason why we have some morals today right like that from the schoolings we need to start to talk about healthy behavior healthy lifestyle right schools should make it mandatory that they kid cannot bring junk food to the schools schools should ban selling of junk food in their canteen mm. it should start there at least to save the next generation because already the generation is spoiled right and it is now full of chronic diseases and honestly speaking if you take the 10 out of 10 people seated here i'll i'll bet you i could bet you eight of us will have chronic conditions mm. the root cause of it is was insulin resistance and the metabolism and ultimately tomorrow then this person will have diabetes right right look at the number of ivf centers which are open now very true right i don't want to get into the politics of talking about all those things. i just want to talk about the world has to arise and the world has to start to create an awareness to the generation to the population right today i cannot go talk to my grown up sons about the the healthy lifestyle because they had already grown and they are then in their own zone i pray that something should not happen to them that's what i could do because who listens to parents these days beyond the age hmm. right that's what it is uh one more question that i want to ask so if we had to sum up the causes let me take up top 5 causes okay that are going to cause disruptive metabolic health if you can name me top 5 causes for understanding what is the food that we eat mm. number 1 number 2 stop giving mobile phones to the kids how how do you think that so is playing good? right say most say to the today how many people how many kids go to the ground to play today when a kid is less than 2 years old when the kid cries give them the they give the mobile phone coco melon is yes, exactly <laughs> right so you are training the kid you are trying to spoil the kid when the kid doesn't even understand what is the reality and now we blame the kid mm. right and this is leading to sedentary lifestyle right right and uh, these are the three things nothing else mm. what else is there the food right sedentary lifestyle and we are stuck on playing with our virtual games and not going out of the field mm. these are three nothing else not it third one can also be expanded as uh, just watching porn for adults uh, maybe scrolling through instagram facebook or whatever it is these three dopamine so these three these three these these three again i'm telling you use of mobile phones yes sedentary lifestyle yes and uh, our food habits so uh, in a day right there are different different variations to this how long should a person or what is the right active lifestyle minute like for example they say 30 minute walk a day more than enough so according to you What is the bare minimum that a person can do to maintain an active lifestyle? So I'll tell you the active lifestyle has to be from your young age. Mm. All of a sudden you become obese and you say that you are going to walk that minutes and it's going to be the active life. No, you will damage your body and if you have to be repair, you have to repair it. You need to do a hell lot of work to ensure that you go back remission in condition, then maintain it, and it's a long process. You will easily damage it, and you want the so. so Remedy to be a, in a day or two. Mm. It's not so, right? A systematic formula for a growing up kid is the kid has to spend minimum one hour on the field. Mandatory. We had a PT period. Yes. Today PT period are taught taken by max teachers to go train the kids. Right? Say I'll tell you, it is all interconnected. Mm. Mental health, stability of a kid, everything is interconnected, right? and a grown up adult it is mandatory today because most of them are really damaged their body very very badly so i'll tell you this at least the easiest of all is they should at least walk 45 minutes a day 45 minutes a day and that to a brisk walk is very very important don't use lift i have an habit say uh, my office is on ninth floor okay even today uh, i park my car on the third floor mm. my office is a car goes up to the third floor mm mm-hmm. and i start to walk mm. couple of four floors till i get i feel like i i i'm tired 
Okay. Then I take a take and go to the ninth floor, and my return journey. That is when I come down, I walk ninth floor to the third floor by the stairs. I don't use a lift. Same. Right. Use as much as possible the stairs. Today, even first floor, you want to use a lift. Uh, so thank you, sir. I feel I and also the audience would have had a better understanding of how metabolic health works. and how there are so many sub entries to this like pcod pcos diabetes and everything so in a nutshell to say having a good metabolic health is your entry gate to a healthy life say the fundamental in a human body is metabolism the healthier metabolism healthier metabolism metabolism is the most important to ensure that we live a happy and healthy life hmm. say i'll tell you everything is in your mental health is connected to it right you are you are uh, being active is connected to it mm. your everything is connected to it so mm. ensure for a healthier metabolism right to be happy right. and healthy i'm repeating it for life right right thank you sir uh, now that you've spoken so much i'm actually interested to know a little about you your journey uh, so please tell us a little about your journey sir what did you study where did you study and how you actually acquired the interest of getting into metabolic health and talking about it and also about your foundation god awesome so i am a doctorate from iit madras mm-hmm. i did my doctorate from iit madras uh, in the area of mobile computing so engineering back engineering basically yeah, in the department of computer science in the area of mobile computing way back in the year 2006 i completed mm-hmm. and uh, earlier to that i did my masters in uh, M- uh, computer science mm-hmm. and engineering from rec trichy the present nit trichy right and uh, Uh, earlier to it i did my uh, bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering from bharathidas university in 93 short stint during my project semester in masters i was working as a faculty in an engineering college mm-hmm. and uh, that made me understand about what is work all about right and uh, i got some interest in uh, knowing about a, a engineering education and the stuff and i was working with my professor at in the institution where i was working Uh, HOD in creating project reports for approval of addition course and other things. Got it. And based on that experience, I went back and started my own engineering college. Oh. Okay. In the year ninety uh, uh, six, started to hunt for starting an engineering college. Hmm. Uh, put all my efforts to do it, and ninety nine I succeeded it. Hmm. Uh, February tenth, nineteen ninety nine, started my first engineering college, MM College of Engineering. and that has grown so big now we have the group has grown grown to a level where we have around 13 institutions 17000 students studying in my campus three joint college school of architecture d school nursing college polytechnic college right except for medical college we have everything being passionate about research and in fact i came to do my phd uh, after starting the college i took a break came back to came to iit madras to do one master to full time phd then went back to the college and started to work and in this uh, thing um, as i was passionate about research i was also sitting and working as a director of an institution one of the engineering college exactly the, i was just coming right. to that so someone who's going to study is already a director of a yeah, college yeah, yeah. yeah i was also uh, big head of the institution teaching students right after phd was also, also guiding pa people to phd and around 13 doctorates i had produced so far wonderful and i have around uh, 300 publications to my credit There were three hundred publications to my credit, and then the star on the short stint, uh, I was so blessed. But Almighty was so kind enough to me. Uh, I was uh, the youngest senator of Bharathidas in university. Uh, I was a syndicate member of Anna University. Uh, I was one among the young people to uh, take that uh, pivotal role in the governance of university, and uh, I had been in various committees of CII representing the country to UK, Australia. and i wasn't the policy making of uh, higher education all the stuff i had been and uh, i was into the academics doing it and uh, interestingly when i was completing my phd i had a bad episode in my life where my son had a liver failure he was 8 year old and for unknown reason he had a liver failure we had lifted him to delhi and he underwent a liver transplant my wife was a donor and uh, that actually shook me in a big way 8 year old they are for unknown reason a healthy boy who was, was vaccinated and for unknown reason is what i am told and when transplantation was done when the when the liver biopsy 
uh, after the surgery proved that a full fledged liver was a functionality that time we were there in delhi for almost 6 months and he was there in the hospital for almost around 90 days lot of lessons there and today i think everything happens for a purpose but god did not punish me to uh, for me to start this company that's a different story right but i learned a lot right and a uh, couple of things was 16 hour surgery for my son my surgery was done uh, doctor updated me and we i was happy i thought uh, surgery is done now he's alive happy right and i started to learn more when i was there doctor said these transplant patient lifelong has to take medication lifelong lifelong they have to take one medication he just eight years he was eight years old i asked i was shocked right i asked the doctor eight year old lifelong you are asking to take a medication does it not uh, impact the kid will not it not have a side effect he said of course ma look it will any chemical to the body is bad right but if he has to be alive he has to lifelong take even a suppressive drugs right and that's one jolt in my life second continuing jolt was these transplant patient lifelong when they take medication that is the immunosuppressive drugs right their immune levels are suppressed they are easily prone to infection because their, their immune level is suppressed and when they get into infection or when they get into any complexity they can be treated only by the specialized doctor who are not available everywhere they cannot be treated by the regular doctor the internal practitioners right. they have to be treated by the regular doctor who is in delhi as a second jolt third what i was able to understand was in the early stage of the uh, uh, liver transplant doctors were doing doing blood test almost daily then it became alternative days then it became weekly once fortnightly once monthly once even now three months once yeah. 27 parameters was monitored and one tablet was adjusted yeah. even now that's what happened i was a doctor doctor uh, you are trying to try the medication based on the blood work three months once is it that the body functions throughout the three months the same way said of course no every time the body functions uniquely it's different but the entire entire medical community work with approximation generalization no other go no other go no other go right we presume that in a big way the body average of it is that's what it is right right based on which these were some lessons i learned when i was there being a researcher fresh out of phd uh, i i was trained to because as last part of my phd work i've been spoken about how technology can be used for precision treatment now today most of it is generic mm. so now after getting back after 6 months being there in delhi after getting back to tamil nadu to trichy i conceived a model i created a model and i i wrote a uh, research article i said when you are able to build a solution when you are able to build a solution which helps the person to take the medication precisely based on the body's need at this point of time 43% side effect will be reduced just imagine isn't it huge right how do you do it so i extended my phd work and i said imbibe a sensor into the patient body let the sensor pick up the relevant data from the blood and send it to the mobile phone which is nearer to the uh, patient and which is part of the middleware okay and this data gets transferred to the diagnostic center where it processes the sample data and now it sends back my parameter at this point of time and it tells me you take tacrolimus 2 mg which is needed for this body at this point of time right precisely it alerts the patient understanding the body's condition at this point of time So imagining how many lives it can save right? with this press, right? And I and I wrote a, a research article on this, and I published in Indian Science Congress, and the paper won the best paper award. That was very interesting, and I started to talk everywhere. And my college also happens to be one of the uh, center for competitive examination. And doctors from AIMS they were conducting the all India medical examination mm-hmm. in my college at that point of time. AIMS doctors were there. I was sharing this uh, thoughts of my doctors were excited. and one doctor said that's great idea manu but i have a question you are putting a sensor in the patient body to pick up data relevant data blood data from from his body but for a kind information even a nano particle on the flow of the blood can lead to blood clot how are you going to solve it i said 
Doctor, I'm a computing guy. I had created a middleware and a solution to handle this. And I believe that an instrumentation guy is going to build a sensor who is going to pick up relevant data through the optic source. And that has come true. Today, that's available. Mm. There are sensors which can pick data yes. through optic source. Yeah. Non-invasive sensors that come. Right? So, now, wherever I go, I talk about this idea, what I spoke. Right? This in, was when? When you spoke about this idea? When I, I spoke about this in the year 2007. 2000, after my PhD work well, was done, right? And yeah. 17 years. Yeah, yeah. And I started to say, I was also, I think the institution, I was also into active into, uh, I was a, a board of director of a chamber of commerce called United Economic yes, Forum. Yes. And every alternative year, we used to conduct a trade summit. Right. We used to bring the best brain across the globe. The idea is to bring business collaboration across these uh, uh, highly reputed people. To So we brought one of the best brain in the globe called Dr. Jahangir Muhammad, a South Indian, yeah. way back still in the Bay Area. And he is a Tamilian uh, who was the one who put Wi-Fi into the mobile phones. Mm. I keep telling people, right? He was the one who corrupted the society. And after his postgraduate, in, uh, after his master's in Canada, was working in the AT&T Bell Lab. Mm. And that's when he got this idea. Okay. Uh, how to, when mobile phone was invented, he got this idea of putting the Wi-Fi into the mobile phones. He started his own startup and made that uh, solution successful. Sold the company. He sold the company because he had the next idea. The next idea was on IoT. He revolutioned the world on IoT. Okay. You name any automobile across the globe, it's powered by his earlier company called Jasper. Any communication network is powered by uh, Jasper. Right? Jasper was highly successful. Right? And the best part of it was, I don't want to name because it's a public podcast. World's top richest man has worked with him in building an autonomous driverless car. Through the concept of digital twin. Right? Boeing's are through the concept of digital twin. The concept of digital twin was from Jasper. Jasper was acquired by the network in Cisco for $1.48 billion. Okay. Right? And that gentleman was the speaker for the trade summit. In the trade summit. Hmm. We were all, we were, both of us were co-speakers. Okay. I was talking about necessity is the mother of invention. I was talking about my son's, how did this idea come in, right? And there he spoke about how IoT can revolutionize the world and even the day-to-day -day requirement, or even for breeding cap cattle and other things he was talking about. That's where we came to. Yeah. And looks like at that point of time, after one year he came down to India, at that time Cisco acquired uh, uh, Jasper and he wanted to start something on the healthcare. He found me. We came together, we started this revolutionary company. Very, 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 very proud to share that God has given us the wisdom to find a solution to solve the most deadliest, which is the destructive metabolism, right. by which we are able to transform lives of millions of people across the globe. Mm. Millions of people across the globe. So far, all the treatments that are there are treating the symptom and trying to solve a, 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 at a shallow level. We are the first company in the world who had built this technology to precisely understand the metabolism, create a digital twin of a human metabolism and offer a positioned solution mm. to remission the condition mm. and bring the metabolic memory to an optimal state and ensure that the people are happy and healthy for life without medication. Mm. Right? And that's what we had done. Uh, it's revolutionary. It's revolutionary. And we are doing our life's work. Very, very proud about it. The foundation where both of you came together is this the Twin Health? Twin Health. Twin Health. So both of you found Twin Yeah, with three of us. Me, Jahangir and uh, Terry. Terry was Jahangir's uh, C2 and Jasper. Okay. We three of started this company. Okay. And uh, we are doing quite successful. So how old is Twin Health? We are five and a half years old. Okay. Uh, we started five and a half years back in India. Mm. Uh, we started in IIT Madras Fresh Park. And uh, we had been growing successfully and we launched uh, a couple of years back in US. Mm. And US is a matured market in the sense yeah. people understand about metabolism, people understand about remission, right? right. People understand about technological advancement. Right. And the, the way they are, the embraces is very, very fast yeah. and compared to India. But in India, we are trying to give awareness, mm. right? And you need to understand uh, healthcare in US is finicky. Someone cannot so easily start in care solutions in US. Exactly. And we had been very, very successful in US. It means that it works miraculously, right? And our technology is patented. Mm. And we had proved our health outcomes through randomized control trial because that's a golden standard for medical community to accept it. Okay. 
right? We proved that remission is possible, and uh, American Diabetic Association has awarded us, uh, not not actually awarded us, at endorsed our outcome, health outcome, and they did the public uh, press release across the globe, and uh, American Heart Association has awarded us for we had proved that the heart health can be substantially improved, and not once, twice, twice, twice they had awarded us, right? So our uh, we are the first company in the world who had proved that the microvascular complication can be reversed. The complication associated with diabetes, retinopathy, nephropathy, and neuropathy could be reversed. Right. So, we had proved PCOS can be reversed. You name any condition for that matter, we had proved that those can be reversed. In a big way, we had solved infertility. Many patients who had come with infertility, they were able to successfully conceive and they had got kids now. Right. Ultimately, the fundamental is metabolism. In order to understand, in a nutshell, everything falling under the metabolic hill for us, a common man can now reach out to Twin Health in order to reverse their condition, be it diabetes, be it PCOD, be it PCOS. They can come and a humble attempt would be done and 100% efficiency in reversing that with personalized guidance. Yeah, I would love to correct certain uh, yeah. things, right? Yeah. Point number one, uh, the healthcare community, when we started the company, uh, this clarification was not Recently, the professional, uh, reputed, uh, recognized professional body, which are uh, there in the globally to decide the protocol of treatment, uh, came out saying that you should call it as remission and not reversal. Uh, say remission is it can come back. Okay. It can come back. You okay. could remission the condition for some time. It could come back is what they are trying to. to but though, mm. I will walk you through, mm. and I clarify about it shortly. But that's one clarification which I wanted to say. I wanted to use the word what the community accepts, the medical community accepts, which is remission of chronic diseases, okay. number one. But number two, I don't want to say 100% guarantee. The reason is the medical ethical practices says never guarantee because you're not God. It works. We have proved that it works for a human body. It has proved that it works for all body. Do you guarantee? Medical ethics does the practice doesn't, but it's a guarantee. Don't make wrong statements, which will be not right. Right? So, now let me clarify about what is remission, what is reversal, and what is cure. Right? Say, typically in our uh, treatment, when a person, say, forget about someone having condition, I don't have any condition, I have my digital twin. Why should someone damage their body and come to us? Whomever want to have a digital twin can have. That's where, that's our aspiration. The vision with which we are working is every human citizen of the globe should own a subscription of twin. Be healthy for life. Why should you damage, right? Then the digital twin tell obviously your body, what's your metabolic score? Are you uh, stable? Continue to be stable. You do crime on a given day. Accommodate based on the recommendation of the digital twin. It understands, right? So one is, when someone assumes that there's a diabetic patient, the patient gets onto the platform and he starts to follow to the recommendation of the digital twin. He adheres to the recommendation of the digital twin and he engage, first, first is engagement. Be engaged with the digital twin. Engage in the sense, you need to go work with the digital twin in the sense, do what is the warden is asking you to do. Okay. Wear the watch. Right? Get onto the scale. Right? So whatever it does, be engaged with the digital twin is the first requirement. Is so, this an app? Say, it is an app. Okay. To the, it is an app is an interface with the digital twin. Every individual who gets enrolled to the program, oh has a digital twin sitting in the cloud. Oh, okay. You have your digital twin. If you, if you are part of twin program. And app is a interface with the digital twin. Understood. Right? So, be engaged with your app. Do. Because otherwise it's meaningless, right? Right. Well, fundamental. Second is, be adherent to its recommendation. Hmm. Because it is, it is understanding your body and recommending what you have to do. Right? This particular treatment as a coach and a doctor. A coach is a single point of contact. She's an educator. Okay. She is not there to give weird plan. Okay. She is not there to advise you what to do. Because she cannot do. Mm-hmm. A regular routine program gives a genetic solution. That's not the way it works in our case. Okay. So, I'll talk in depth about how the program works later. Now, let me clarify the remission, right? So, ideally in twin, right? We try to bring the metabolic memory to an optimal state. Which is a process by itself. Right? So, a, a diabetic patient gets into the program, assume, he optimizes the the inflammation, glucotoxicity and lipotoxicity, by which he is able to 
bring down his A1C to less than 6.5 in 90 days. By the time most of the people, medications are stopped. Diabetic medications are stopped. It doesn't mean that they had remission discondition or reverse discondition or cure discondition. We say they had normalized their condition. In the second quarter, the digital twin works to optimize the other chronic condition. Because I told a person who is diabetic will definitely have other conditions. Though it may not show up, but within the system it might be he might be having he might be having bad liver. So in the second quarter, the digital twin works to optimize other chronic condition. The third quarter, the digital twin works to optimize the organ health. Okay. The organs gets regulated. We, as I told you earlier, we are the first company in the world who had proved that the microvascular complication can be reversed. And in the fourth quarter, the beta cells regenerate, insulin cells gets regulated. Now we say that the individual has brought his metabolic memory to an optimal state. Now we say it is remission in his condition. And here the beauty is, from the day one to 360 days, the journey starts to become easier. Mm. Because when you get into the program, mm. it identifies the list of food items which are intolerant to the body and classifies as red food. Okay. And these red food are not included in the meal plan that is recommended by the digital twin. Mm. Right? But the beauty in our program is, as you travel through the journey of healing, the food was red in the early days, start to become orange and green. It is not that lifelong you have to forego a food which, which you, you like the most. It's not that Italy is bad for everyone. It's not that Puri is bad for everyone. It's not that rice is bad for everyone. It understands and it as you heal your body, it's, so it becomes easier. So after one year, you have remission this condition, but continue to traverse your body in an optimal metabolic state for a longer period of time by being engaged with your digital tool and adherent to the digital tool's recommendation to traverse your body from a state of remission to reverse cell with a longer journey. But it is easier. It is kind of maintenance. And once you have reversed your condition, continue to be engaged and adherent with your digital twin to ensure you traverse your body from the state of reversal to cure. Right? So ultimately the truth, the thing is, your digital twin becomes your life companion. So you came with the messy body, your titrated body to a stable state, continue to be in a stable state for a longer period of time. Yes, so that, but I am not, I don't want to make a claim of reversal and cure now. Though, our scientific evidence proves that, proved as, that proved that we are able to sustain the outcome for more than three years. Our randomized control trial had completed three years. Many people had completed three years and we had proved that they were able to sustain that outcome. Okay. Which means that another couple of years, mm -hmm. which means that they had reversed. At that point of time, I could go and scientifically tell the community saying that, I could publish a paper saying that, yes, we are the first company to prove that it is reversed something. Right? Understood. So, that's what is the clarity on remission, reversal and cure. Understood. Three questions. I'll ask one by one as like a rapid fire. Yeah. First one is, who can enroll in this program? Anyone. Anyone. Anyone but the... Uh, Restrictions are people who have really damaged their body horribly mm -hmm. bad. Say, for example, people are on dialysis. Okay. Uh, we don't want to enroll them. But uh, honestly speaking, to be very, very, it will work even for them. But it requires a quite a complicated uh, support system for them. So people really are in the end stage of many conditions. Mm -hmm. Say, for example, people in uh, e, whose EGF or the kidney filtration is very bad, okay. less than 40, we don't enroll them. Some restrictions are there, right? So type 1 diabetics, we cannot solve it. Mm. Right? So there are certain conditions which we don't, but 95% of people can get benefit out of it. And the age bracket is 17 to 75. Okay. 17 to 75. Okay. Uh, we will talk more on who can enroll, who can't, and uh, more of like even the type 1, type 2 diabetes in the upcoming episodes. Uh my second point was, where can they find information about where they can enroll? Online. Online? What do they have to say? Twinhealth.com. Twinhealth.com. And uh, there will be a team who is going to reach out to them once. So, they, they, they could do it by themselves through the website. If they want to, to attend a webinar, where it's... A webinar, a webinar is a place where my team talks about how does it work to give a clarity to people on... Because it's not so easy. We had, we had, I, because still I had not explained about how does it work. Exactly. I did not talk about the treatment yeah. factor. Yeah. I said that we build a digital twin, right? But how does it, right? I did not talk about it, right? Yeah. So in the in the webinar, there's a daily webinar which is conducted for people to walk through, understand, listen to it, 
and then get enrolled okay number 3 is uh, all the other foundations who also offer similar programs while i might not have the exact knowledge of what they are offering i just want to know how is twin health better for the common audience or for a people who are watching this let me make it very very clear i don't know whether you heard me telling this we are the first company in the world who are invented a technology to measure metabolism and we are a monopoly uh so one last question would be in the country uh, there are a lot of foundations which i'm sure even you are aware of uh, who are claiming that we are doing reversal of diabetes x y and z but i want to understand from a common man's perspective also how twin health is different the great the question to make people understand about it right say for example let me make it very very clear uh we are the first company in the world who had invented a technology uh to precisely measure the metabolism of human we are not here to control sugars mm. or manage diabetes mm. or help to people to reduce weight or control bp or control any of this condition mm. our focus is to go solve the root cause of the problem is the disrupted metabolism we are trying to solve at the root cause of the problem by which everything else gets regulated everything is is a process by itself right most of the companies not most of the almost all companies the so called people who are trying to call about reversal of diabetes are trying to control the sugars they put a patch and they say that this sugar the food spikes for this food don't eat this food right when for that case no one need to go to anyone patches are available online buy a patch put it put, put on your thing right and you could control by yourself controlling sugars is not a big deal it's not magic you cut the source of sugars sugar gets normalized right there's no rocket science or magic in it but at the expense of what matters at the expense of elevated cholesterol and endocrine damages that is the reason why long term research has proved that unmonitored dieting is evil for a disrupted metabolic body there are people who talk about intermittent fasting recent research in the american heart association said that 91% of people who are following unmonitored dieting are handicapped with cardiovascular disease It's not so simple. There's a reason doctor doesn't recommend a low carb diet or some dietary program or the other. You need to offer to the body the right substance of what you have to do. But for the technology, this can be not done. And moreover, as I said, we are the only company to solve the root cause by which we are able to get everything done. Right. So why is it that we are unique? Can be an episode by itself. Hmm. Right. In what way is it? Yes. Then twin is twin not a dietary program. Of course, no. then what is it all about so i will explain about the uh, that in an at another episode but let people wait for it to listen to what it is but i am let me make it very very clear we are a monopoly we are the only company who have a technology which is patented mm. we are the only company who have the science backed by randomized control trial published in 50 plus conferences journal ada has endorsed us quite an amount of scientific evidence to validate and the scientific evidence are run through published from randomized control trial run both in india and us hmm. we are we are running a randomized control trial with the the partner with the prestigious cleveland clinic amazing data we had got but we are yet to publish cleveland clinic data but india data we had published in a big way right so that's where it is thank you sir i think uh, that is uh, enough accreditation or points to prove uh, and now it's up to the audience to choose their healthier option more sustainable option and how they want the to take their life do they want a temporary solution or do they want a more sustainable solution it's just so, not, it's not it's just not that right many people right they go behind so i know there is a if you go put twin health right there is a company i don't want to name them it's unethical to name them hmm? they may be so bad uh, uh, say they had said that if you want to join a reversal program at one third of uh, twin health join my my program by putting their name right Uh, of course yes apple has its cost and uh, china, china mobile has its cost right you need to choose what is good for you yeah yeah you need to go right say yes you yes it's costlier but it is cheaper than what an individual patient is spending on his health on a condition right and he is going to we are not to say sustainability becomes a problem a dietary programs no therefore he or do join that program he need not join it all hmm He could do it by himself. 
and uh, so yes people literally need to write a take a right choice of what they need for their betterment yeah yeah right what is required we don't want to make false profit we don't want to cut corners we are a 250 million funded company right and big investors are backing us yeah. it doesn't come as sort of science is there anyone who talks about this in this country or available in other challenging countries it talks about the credibility of what we do it is a treatment offered by doctors mm. i'm making very clear mm. it's not a fancy product where someone can do it it's a treatment offered by doctors thank you so much sir pleasure pleasure talking to you a lot uh, of thanks a lot for the site knowledge that uh, i've gained and i'm sure the audience is too i would only say that uh, there are a lot more episodes that we need to do in order to dive deep yeah. into this topic and also understand better about when health the programs and i think the audience can benefit so much out of these so definitely looking forward to host you again and yeah. there's one quote that i'd like to end by saying that you know it said that when you really want to pursue something and your intention is pure the whole world is going to conspire to make it happen for you and that is what happened with you for twin health uh, i'm so happy you took the efforts in bringing twin health along with your co-founders because today it is going to benefit so many more people uh, thank you so much for your time thank you thank you all looking forward to continuing this journey of uh, educating people this requires this requires huge amount of education it's a moment which has to create right so uh, to be looking at what is happening in the world so thanks uh, to for the people yeah thank you thank you thank you with that we come to an end of today's podcast please stay tuned to the youtube channel subscribe to it and you will have a bucket load of information coming your way